with um, Susie Homemaker, like cleaning up. Oh, yeah, well, I want to make sure. Jurgen is the Good best. And um, a new guest, Don Bellotti. Hi, hi, Hello. give it up. Your, your passion, Dawn? Uh, well, what I do is uh, I came out of the music industry several years ago, and uh, now I produce commercials and music videos, and a lot of what I do is I choose music for the TV spots and for the commercials, so a lot of the things you see on TV and you wonder how the music got there and who chose it, that's something that I do. Wow, so how do people make best friends with you? Uh, <laughs> Um, well, a lot of times uh, the client will have an idea of what type of music they're looking for, and uh, they'll kind of send me on a quest, but sometimes they'll be open to it. You know, for example, um, the Toyota Corolla commercial that came out a couple of years ago, that it was uh, going through the decades, and when it came to the 90s, they had it, already had an idea of what they wanted, but since I've worked with Soundgarden and Chris Cornell in the past, I approached them, and uh, I, you know, I. They said they were interested in, you know, putting, using a song for commercial. Because the one thing when you deal with artists, it depends on what the product is too. So when I went back to the client and I said, you know, what about Soundgarden? And they Duh. looked at it. Yeah. yeah. So commercials so, that look for music ask looking I for you that you've yeah, already yeah. made so songs. That's how, yeah, that's, that's awesome. how Rusty Cage ended up. Oh, there. yeah. Mike's good. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wow, that's pretty, no, this is so loud. Yeah. <laughs> Into the mic, Milo. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Just, I like yeah. to rest that on my chin, like here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Now, Rusty Cage, which commercial was that in? I think that I was a commercial. Toyota Corolla. Yep, I remember. Are you that. working on any commercials right now? Yeah, but I can't, can't tell. So, now. what was the last one? Can you talk um, about that? The last one was uh, the Giorgio Armani, and we used Depeche Mode because I was one of the producers on their Soothe Your Soul video, so I already had a relationship with them and with, you know, their management, and I knew they were open. So, so from when you said, uh, we, it was actually uh, Personal Jesus. It was for uh, Armani for Men. It came out last Christmas. Okay, I recall mm -hmm. that, and there's actually a commercial out with a Depeche Mode song, but it's a cover, but I did hear another Depeche Mode song in a commercial. I do remember these commercials, so that's you, yeah, when you're watching on TV. So do you have yeah. a company, or you work for people, or you I work, uh, Right now, I'm doing a lot of work with Bravo. Okay. So, you know, we're doing the TV spots nice. for, you know, the, the programs that are coming out for the fall, and there's, there's music behind it. Right. Know, people never really paid attention to it until you tell them, hey, that's what I do. So, yeah, so are you like a licensor? No, um, I find I, I'll find the artists if I have a relationship with them because I know a lot of them. I what did you do them. prior to? You said you were in the music um, industry. I worked for Polygram. I'm okay. dating myself. Not really. You know, so, Not really. Yeah. Um, I did marketing, marketing and creative before I got into video. So I wrote all the the band bios. Cool. And uh, I wrote the you know the advertising spots for. Um, you know, on radio, or what we called co-op ads, and um, from there I just got into video, because, you know, we would, I would be on set with our artists and kind of just making sure they didn't get into trouble, and, uh -huh. which was never successful anyway. Uh, ah, you know, with the good old days. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was the late 80s, early 90s, yeah. you know. Now, did you yeah. direct or write any of these videos? Uh, I produced them. Produce them. Okay. Yeah, so cool. we do everything, and the director gets the credit. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. That's true. You have yeah. like the, the management of mm -hmm. it all. Yeah. Have you done any, any films, any short films, anything like Not that? Not any short film, just mainly commercial okay. still shoots and uh, a lot of videos. I mean, the videos that have been released, you know, I could talk about, like, uh, um, you know, well, Susan's, you know, the Depeche Mode song and uh, the Black Keys, Golden and Snow. So you use so pretty, pretty popular yeah, mainstream bands. Do you ever mm -hmm. use small, non-known, independent music? I try. Um, I do a lot of, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very passionate about a band called Owl. Okay. I've heard of them. I know them really well. And uh, I actually, you know, do a lot of little promotion with them. Um, Lucky that. Or, you know, and I do that pro bono. Because okay. they're just phenomenal. Good for you. Um, you know, and... Uh, like um, their bassist Chris Wise is playing with Ace Frehley right now. It's 
he's playing bass with them. Kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Kiss. Yeah. 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 Y
advice. You know, I've had sure. fans come to me and, you know, I've sat and spoken with them and I said, you know, I explained the whole, like, budget, number one. Which is yeah, what a band yeah. like says, budget? What's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Realizing you mean we need money? Like, yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, no. What? Yeah, you know, um, and, and uh, you know, also getting, like, the, you know, the permit from the mayor's office. We need that? Oh, my God. Is that what you, you do? Involved, I know. You know. I mean, it, it's great, you know, that like, you have this, these amazing bands that have this, like, creative vision. And what a producer does is they take their creative vision Put and put it into, into reality. reality, you know, and sometimes it's a reality check. It's like, well, you know, you need you need money for this, and you need a certificate of insurance if we're going to go shoot even, like, you know, in a club or So how much does that usually cost? Um, well, the, to get your permit, you need at least a million. For I mean, $1 million dollars for yeah, a permit? Yeah, that's not what's going to so cost you not to like get your insurance, but that's how much you need. You need a million dollars coverage. So how much coverage. would about a million dollar coverage be? Um, it, you know, with the company I was with, it was about 5000 a year. Okay. But it's like, you know, it's so a So for an time. independent band to shoot a music video, they're not going to have $5,000. No, but you can get individual policies. You can get it. You know, I'm not an insurance specialist, right. but I do, I have sent them to insurance companies where you can get an insurance certificate per, you know, video. Right. And it's going to cost you a lot less. You know, but you, you know, to rent your equipment and to secure your location, uh, you definitely have So on, on just a hypothetical thing, mm -hmm. to for an indie band to put yes. together a real music video that's your quality, what would it cost them? Um, it, well, for like Can a, they do I something for under 20000 It can. You but know, it's if not you have yours. a lot of friends, you right? Know, if you if you have a relationship with the people where you're shooting, and they're gonna let. Now, what you makes go. something a better video, though? Like, I mean, some people come up with really cool stuff. Uh, the, I think the lighting and yeah. the camera gear. Right. You know, yeah. if you get somebody that can really light it, you know, that can, uh, it, and maybe use less lights. Like, I don't want to get to the whole technical no, no, thing, no, no. but. You know, there's there's way to light things, um, yeah. and you can go big, and you know, spend twenty thousand dollars on lighting. Or if you get someone that knows what they're doing, yeah, they can just get a couple of small things and you can just do stuff light outside. It. Yeah, and you know, now there's a lot there's of a lot cameras that yeah. shoot video, and you don't even need no what, what we would normally do. black magic. Sure, I mean yeah, you can yeah, do it yeah. yourself. Uh, with anything. I don't know. I think some videos video are coming out that are pretty darn good. Yeah. I mean, when you're doing a professional video yeah. with, with a band that's on a label, I mean, you're hiring probably props and models and mm -hmm. permits and locations. Yeah. You know, but I mean, creativity goes a long way, yeah. too. Uh, it's funny that you mentioned lighting. Yeah. I was in a couple of movies this summer, and that was like the key focus of every yeah. scene. Yeah. Every exactly. scene was a light mm -hmm. shift and where the light was, you know. A, a, in, in uh, correspondence with the camera, I mean, the lighting was like the main focus of filming. And the sound. Yeah. But today yes. happens to be National Chocolate Day. Do you like yeah. chocolate? I do. Would you like to take a piece of I real take chocolate? One. Thanks. And yeah. now we would like to get a skeleton from your closet. Like okay. a little story or not. Did you ever do anything naughty in your life? I mean, you seem pretty squeaky clean. Yeah, I mean, I've always just been really professional, you know, I mean, the, the closest is just probably just partying with a lot of bands and like, you know, you're... So do you have any good stories of like... Have you ever stolen a candy bar? <laughs> no, let's talk about backstage. Did you ever... Yeah? How'd yeah. you do that? Um, one of the first bands I was watching was a band called Sepultura, and it's like when I first started, so um, I lost the bass player. Because he went home with you know some woman and we found him like passed out in her the, her bathtub and with and I was just like I didn't sign off for this you were their babysitter wait yeah because I couldn't find him and I'm getting screamed at by my boss and by the management you know and I've never had to deal with that before ah so, uh, yeah. so it's like almost famous yeah right what do you yeah. think of that movie you think it's pretty accurate uh I mean well that's the seventies yeah that's the that's the time where like you really wanted Right. So I'm sure it was. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So if anyone would want to get your advice or expertise, is there a way to find you? Do you have a website or like is it Facebook or? 
Um, I'm I'm very active with Facebook. Yeah. I'm probably on there more. Of course. Uh, but I mean, I have a Twitter uh, uh -huh. as well. You know, that's what about Instagram. Of that's a lot of fun. Yes, yeah, so I have an Instagram. Out. Instagram, I put just a lot of the photos I take of bands on there. That's cool. Yeah. Do you? So you work mainly with the biggies. Yeah. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. Uh, Do you have well, any crushes? Any rock well, star every, crushes? Everybody likes Chris. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. It's kind of tough when you're working with him. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, okay. And oh. I know his wife and his family. <laughs> but it's still, you, you get still think things. back to when, you know, uh, the, like when I saw them play in a room the size of, like, half the size of this. And, you know, then that video came out out shine. It was like soft porn for women. And you're just like, you know, now I watch it. Black hole song like, was yeah. really weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I'm like, <laughs> wow, it makes sense. Wow. Was like Hands all over. Yeah. That was a good video, too. Yeah. That was kind of like a soft porn video. Of, like, yeah, yeah. That's that a good was, video. That was the first song we ever heard. Oh, that yeah. Wow. Fun. Well, I can't thank yeah. you enough for visiting. And, um, you. I had a blast. Yeah, we look so forward much. to seeing your stuff out yeah. there and your next secret Chances commercial. Chances are, if you're watching yeah. TV and the Don commercial Bilotti, comes on, we've already like heard it. Would you like to push a button? Sure. Which one should I push? Which Just pick one. How's this one? There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by, and um, yeah, I hope we see more of you. Yeah, yeah. it's very interesting. Give it up, Don Belong. <laughs>